I think there is uh, sobriety still. Uh, you know, Mildred says that I'm bringing some sobriety. Uh, I think all that has happened here since morning is just sobriety. Uh, and so, <laughs> maybe just a small addition. Uh, you know, when you talk almost last, eh, uh, there are two things that might happen. One, uh, you might uh, not have prepared. And so you take points from each of the persons who've spoken before you, which I will exactly do. <laughs> <laughs> because it always happens. Does it happen? Yes. yes. Uh, the next thing that you do uh, sometimes is that uh, people who have spoken ahead of you have mentioned what you had. So sometimes you slightly repeat. I'll avoid to repeat because I know that we are in this course together. Uh, but I thank Mildred because of uh, sanctioning that each of us must say something on which you stand to do. I think I choose to stand with women. I choose to stand with you to break uh, the barrier of blackmail. Because I've seen blackmail uh, in its real and in its full colors. Waithera can tell you, uh, Waithera, before she activated her political genes, uh, we were doing a lot of work with those politicians uh, at the League of Kenya Women Voters. I think it's about 20 years ago. I was training at that time, what Daisy is now doing. Uh, we trained many women. Uh, Akina Rosa Buyu, Akina Rachel Shebesh. Uh, so I have that activism like Daisy's a bit. Eh? <laughs> before, before I became a government officer, I had that particular experience. Uh, I also actually did a lot of political campaigns for women. Uh, Akina Honorable Chalaite, you remember? Yes. Akina the late Lona Laboso. Uh, and so we were in the field uh, with Akina Waidera doing a lot of political activity. And uh, Waidera did not tell you that uh, women try and they fail. She did not get to uh, to being elected on the first shot. I can tell you that because she's my friend and we've walked with her the way. Tumenunua unga, tumepeleka sana madhare, tumejaribu campaign uko, tukiva t-shirts and uh, I think it's part of the journey. And uh, being part of the journey, I think every step of the way counts. I don't want to say so much, uh, but I want to just appreciate uh, the inspiration from Daisy. Uh, this is very inspirational. She brings out uh, that activism and uh, she arouses uh, action. And I think she just challenged because we need it. Uh, I want just to go very briefly uh, without uh, repeating so much what they've said. Uh, the topic that uh, my boss, Anne Rito, who I must appreciate for nominating me here uh, to attend, at least I have a day to interact and not really deal with the law uh, as I always do every time, and just see women laugh. And uh, I, I like being in the presence of women. Uh, so it's a good day for me. Uh, we were told to dissect the role of the election management body in an advancing gender equality in political leadership in Kenya. Uh, the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties really is a, 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 a partner in the electoral management, in the election management process. Because we, we moved out of the IBC, which is actually the electoral body. So what I've done in my presentation, which is very brief and which is not very uh, formal, uh, uh, it is still sober, but not very, very official, because today is a day for us to relax and think a bit about being happy, about being women, uh, is the role of ORPP in advancing gender equality in political leadership. Uh, and uh, our letter, I don't know whether your invitation letters uh, read the same way as the one I got, was speaking about telling the journey so far, the joys, the tears, the milestones, and the future. Uh, I had a little difficulty fitting my presentation to this, but because I'm a compliance officer, I tried. And uh, in very brief, uh, the journey in this country, uh, the journey for women participation and women inclusion and women attainment of uh, political leadership 
uh, and also leadership in decision making as the SDG uh, provides, as um, our lady from uh, Uganda uh, narrated, has been long, but it has not been negligible. I want to just give you a little history uh, because I see uh, for very good reason, and I'm very happy about that, that many people in this room are young. And even those who are not very young in terms of age are young minds. So, because they have been on the course. You know, you, there's a way you can make your mind remain young, and which women must do. I want to remind you of what our historical was just post uh, independence, uh, the Mau Mau era. Women were very critical. And their traits, and I think uh, Daisy should have included this one in the soul of the woman. Um, maybe it's a topic, I said, eh? now, so I'll, I'll add on all of them. Women were the ones who were feeding the Mau Mau fighters. You know that? Yes, yes they were the ones who were actually going to the, to the, to the bush, uh, cooking at home and hiding themselves under cover, going to the, to the forest and waiting for the men. They come and feed them. And it's a, it's a long story short, but I don't know it. Uh, but I know that bit. And the quick bit about that particular issue is that women first, as our caregiver role is, eh, uh, which we must be proud of. Eh? I also do not like uh, the, the, the new theme that women should stop thinking about uh, the, their, their nurturing roles because uh, I support the placenta boldness because those are also unique roles that we were given and men cannot be able to do it. Have you ever been served at a catering where it's men who are doing outside catering and they just look at you songa, 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 but man will, men, women will serve you with a smile. Enjoy your food and you know. So those Mau Mau ladies were very bold I want us to take the boldness of those Mau Mau women. In your participation in political parties, do not take, because in political parties, our experience as an office is that women are very much relegated. We have women inclusion, and uh, it's our role as a regulator to ensure that women participate. Uh, post COK 2010, it is a requirement which we ensure that every political party must have women as members. I'll give you the numbers of how many women are in political parties, and it will shock you, because the numbers then do not, uh, on a pro rata basis, reflect how women participate in politics. In terms of how you involve yourself within that political party, it is again a requirement. Hello, ladies. Hello. You need to be members of political parties. You should be members already. You have heard Waithera was in NAC, Kenya. Mimi uh, Siku, a member Waithera. But uh, we did a lot of work for NAC, Kenya those days. Uh, it's long. Uh, <laughs> but she still moved to Jubilee. It does not matter what party you are in at the moment, but it is important for you, if you have that political vibe at all, to get into a political party. Because in that political party, you will start learning about being at the table of the decision making. It is a requirement by law that within those political parties, the governing body, which is uh, normally called the National Executive Committee, I see Jane is here, I applaud you, she's a woman leader, uh, she was a chair of the PPLC, uh, currently she's the vice chair, again, let's applaud her. <laughs> Jane Jiru. And you find that most of the times, the women positions in those governing bodies are very defined. I have a list of what positions women hold in the governing bodies, uh, and uh, I will just quickly read for you the members, the, 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 the positions. We have very few women uh, holding party leader positions. Do you know any? Who, which one do you know? Mother Karua. Charity Ngilu. Uh -huh. Any other? Julia Ojambo. Julia uh -huh. No. <laughs> Sorry. Another one? Yeah. 
Okay. Homework, homework, because you must now resuscitate political activity. We have four. We have four women who are party leaders, and as you can say from the room, you feel them. You actually feel them. Yeah? We have a few positions uh, for secretary generals. Uh, we have about 13 secretary generals who are women. However, most treasurers, and this will shock you, this wale uh, waweka hazina, kwachama, those political parties that you are not participating, can you imagine? 42 of them, and right now we have 72 political parties that are fully registered. I need to note so that you actually know huwezi kosa chama ya kujiunga. Na ukitaka kujua, come to the office. I, I told my friend I met in the morning that I am one person who, because of that uh, eagerness of breaking barriers, I want to be accessible. There is nothing. Just call me and say, just to confirm that I'm in the office. You come and we share, and we give you some of this political talk so that you can be able to position yourself. We have 43 political parties with treasurers. Why? Because women can be trusted with money. Women are not corrupt. Women are good money keepers. Women are keen. Women are... Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And so my question is, if you're in a political party and you're the political, uh, you're the governing body treasurer, why would you not be nominated by that political party for serving? within your political party. And I think the call to action, because uh, the title today is we must lead. Must, must is a firm word. And uh, legally, must means there is nothing to negotiate about it. So that work that women, that time that women give, that energy that women give, that trust that women have gotten must count. And I think that's the action point that uh, Daisy should add to the others, that uh, women's contribution in the political parties must count. Because you can feel it is a lot of contribution. Uh, the other positions, uh, which, but the treasurer job is the one that is most pronounced, uh, because there's the other one where they, each of the political parties have, which is supposed to be a woman representative. So that one is more of like uh, our, <laughs> the, the National Assembly one, the way we have a woman rep. So that one, I won't count, but it is also matters. I see her paper here. She's also, you're not a party leader, are you? Oh, she's, she's one party leader. She, she became, she was the Secretary General in a political party. Uh, she has moved to another political party recently. Uh, and because I, I have worked with them and I know them, she's now a party leader. So she's the fourth one you are looking for. Simum Klapi etafadali. Yeah. So with that uh, small analysis, I, I just want to say that uh, there have been joys uh, working with politicians and specifically women political leaders. Uh, but there has been tears. When I was just doing my slides, the slide for tears got full. I ran over to slide two. It ran over to slide three. So I almost started crying. But uh, all the same, there are enough joys uh, because we, we need to celebrate our women. I want us to just feature what ways you can participate right now at your position, so that you actually, because uh, the political journey, maybe as Senator would tell you, you must build on it. It is not something that you wake up one day and you just say, oh, I felt like I dreamt uh, that I can vie for an MCA. So you come and start looking for a political party and the election is two months away and uh, you must advance uh, growth. You must think about it, you must be deliberate, and you must strategically position your, 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 your idea if you want to be a leader. And all of us can be a leader. You can be a leader. You just need to identify your constituency. If you need to be realistic, 
If you have never taken any leadership position, even in church, you are never even a school prefect, start small. Because many mistakes that many women do is to meet this, maybe the other party leaders who are not women, and they are told, apana, wewe kuja, kuwa uh, SG wachama yangu, nitakupatia position, ama nitakupatia ticket, uvai for MP, and you are wasted. Because even your own village or even your own estate, people do not know you. So if your own village and your own estates you are not known, how then would you vie for a national assembly? You fail, you know? You, you just become a non-starter. So on your own initiative, without seeking that other support, first become a member of a political party. By a show of hands, how many of you have voluntarily registered in political parties? Yes, so those other hands that are still lying, kindly join a political party, if at all this is a cause that you want to pursue. Two, when you're in that political party, kindly get to know whether there's a position in the governing body. I'm telling you, impose yourself there. Leadership is not, uh, even in church, you know, uh, sometimes I hear people talking about the stereotypes that, uh, oh, politics is not church, but I'm in church myself, and even in church, we do elections. And uh, I have a position in church. I am a secretary for two committees within my church. But I know it is also not given. So whoever says that even in church you are given a position, uh, it is not given. So come to the political party head, neck. Ask them, I would like to offer myself for this position. Take that position and run with it. When you are there, prove yourself. And that is the idea that you must really also show. If Waidera can tell you what she was doing for NAC Kenya, I will not expose her here, <laughs> because now she's the honorable. She used to do almost, you know, those things that really you would think are not very, uh, are not very honorable, <laughs> if I would say those words. Eh? And she used to do it, and with very honestly, and uh, even when we were going to Madare, still, we were still able to do things that you really felt that, uh, yeah, this must be done. And uh, even if it is not the ultimate, you must be willing in your political parties to do those things. Why? Because they are stepping stone. Women, please identify what your stepping stones are. Finally, that is participation in the governing body. Finally, present yourself as candidates for election. One, present yourselves as candidates for election within your party. So many political parties do elections. They actually do because it's a requirement which we very sincerely follow through that a political party must do their nominations, uh, their, their, their elections in order to place people into the governing body. If you do not offer yourself to that for that election, you will not be elected. You must present yourself as a candidate. In fact, you will not be taken seriously uh, in that political party. So appear as a candidate for that election. And also present yourself for the party primaries. Hello? Yes, party primaries. Women fear party primaries. We are working on developing uh, an act. Uh, we have a draft bill. I think, Daisy, you are aware. Uh, the draft bill was published uh, at Senate. Uh, we have amended that. I think Crown Trust also participated. And we have a memorandum amending the Senate bill because we want it to be a National Assembly bill because of the money component. And we want women to participate in party primaries because that is the only way you will make your party know that they should not give direct nominations. Because they give direct nominations because there are very few candidates. So present yourself for candidature and seek. Even that gives you some experience. Nilazima eh? ulan. And be ready to fall. Be ready to fall because as you may fall as many as seven times, but on the eighth time, mi naskianga ivo sijui kama ni ukweli, atihuezi anguka zaidi ya marasaba. So marayanane utapata. But our God is gracious, and so you won't fall before. You will actually get it after falling maybe once. And for some whose grace is abounding, you will even get it the first time. So please try. Do not 
take a position of back seat. Usikae hapo na unasema women must lead na wewe hata hujajihusisha na party. Jihusishe. If you really do not uh, are not ambitious about uh, vying, you can be in that party and you can support a woman in your party. We have spoken about support here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I am done with participation of parties. Naona nani anasimama. Two minutes, but uh, this is a bit... Two minutes, I'll try. Yes. Uh, so we ensure that uh, the parties have that gender. Uh, there's a graph I really wanted to share. There's a pie chart. Uh, the tiers, uh, some of the tiers, uh, which uh, I said ran into three slides, uh, there was the tiers during campaigns. During campaigns, there are insults, there's vulgar language uh, addressed to women, uh, and you must, for that, because even when you vie, it will still come, you must get thick skin. Hello? And the word is, you must, because you must lead. So the must must still run through all the others. During elections, women are violated, assaulted, sometimes even sexually violated. What must you do? You must resist, and for those organizations, maybe like Feminet, uh, you must also create a, a, an escape. 